Welcome to the 6.4 video, which is going to cover graphing polynomials. We're not going to be going too in-depth or too formal. We're just going to be sketching polynomial functions, getting an idea of what these graphs look like. So let's just jump right in looking at example number one. Graph y equals, and then we are given the equation. So there's a few different things that we can do here. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for the zeros. Two different zeros. We have x equals 0, and we have y equals 0. So we're finding the intercepts. If we plug x equals 0 in, we'll get 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. 0 plus 4 is 4. And 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 5 is 60. So that's one point, the point 0. 60. Then we have y equals 0. If we make y 0, we get 0 equals x minus 3, x plus 4, x minus 5. Okay, this is already factored for us. This is such a nice form. So we can set each of those factors equal to 0. So in this case, First equation we get 3, then we get negative 4, and then we get 5. Okay, so we're going to plot these points now. These x values happen when y is 0. So our first point is going to be 3, 0. And then we have the point negative 4, 0. And then we have the point 5, 0. Okay. Other thing we know is that we have this 0 at 60. So when x is 0, y is 60. Now, that doesn't fit on our graph. That's OK. We'll just put a point up here and write 0, 60. So we're scaling it differently, which is OK. Next thing we're going to look at is the end behavior. So although we're sketching this graph, we want to make sure that the general end behavior stays the same. So from the previous video, we know we're going to be looking at degree and leading coefficient. Leading coefficient in this case, so the number out in front, is positive. That means our graph ends up. Then we're going to look for our degree. So let's be careful here. If we were to multiply all of this out, we would have x times x times x. So ultimately, our highest degree would be a third degree. We don't care that it's third degree, though. What we care is that this is odd. Odd. What does odd mean? Odd in end behavior means that the graph or the end behavior is going to start and end differently. So if we are end ending up, we need to be starting down. OK, so then at this point, we just need to connect the rest of the dots. So we're going to draw our polynomial somewhere in here so that we hit those other two points, those other two zeros. So I'm going to have this part go down, and then I'm going to go down again and back up. So this is possibly what the graph would look like. It's just a general sketch. Uh, some vocab to know. This point up here that hits a high point, this is called a relative max. This point down here, again, it's just a sketch, so we don't know exactly where it would be, but this is called a relative minimum. So that's just some vocab for you to see. So in general, when we're graphing, we're going to be looking for those zeros and the end behavior. So let's look at example two and try another one. Example two, I'm going to start with those zeros again. If I make x equals 0, I have y equals negative. So plugging in a 0 here, I get 0 minus 2, which is negative 2. Squared, though, gives me positive 4. This negative, remember, is from this negative out in front. And then we have 0 plus 3, which is 3, and 0 minus 7, which is negative 7. This gives me a value of 84. So that's for x equals 0. If we now do y equals 0, 
We're going to set each of those factors equal to zero, like we did in the previous problem. So in this case, we get 2, negative 3, and 7. Okay, before looking at end behavior, let's graph those zeros. So we have this 2, so that's the point 2, 0. We have negative 3, 0. And we have 7, 0. Okay, and then we have our other 0 as well. When x is 0, we get a y value of 84. Again, that doesn't fit on the graph, so stick it somewhere and put the coordinates. Okay, now let's look at our end behavior. Our lead coefficient in this case is negative, so we have this negative out in front. That tells us we are ending down. And then looking at our degree. So in this case, this one's a little bit different. We have a squared here, so this is x squared, another x, and another x. So x squared, x to the third, x to the fourth. So our degree is 4. Again, we don't care really that it's 4. We care that this is an even function. What does that mean? Okay, that means that our end behavior, or our graph, is going to start and end differently. Or the same, rather. Sorry, odd is different, even is the same. So if we are ending down, we need to start down as well. Okay, now there's one thing that's a little bit different from this problem than the last one. If we look at our equation, we have x minus 2 squared. What does that squared mean? Okay, that x minus 2 squared means we have x minus 2, x minus 2 again. So that 0 happens twice. Any time that that zero happens an even number of times, that zero is going to bounce. And I'll show you what that looks like on a graph. So any time that a zero happens an even number of times, even only, the zero is going to bounce. Odds go straight through. Even though, even being the power, will bounce. Okay, so let's draw in the rest of this graph. So I'm going to connect down here. Here's where I need to be careful. Here is that 0 at 2. So there's my point at 2. I need to bounce then. The graph isn't going to go through that point. It's going to bounce. Ready? So it'll bounce. And then. Okay. So anytime that the power on a 0 is even, we're going to bounce. In this case, this point right here, besides being a zero, again, it's called a relative minimum. It's a low point. Both of these points are considered relative maximums or maxima. So they're high points. Doesn't have to be the overall highest point on the graph, just has to be a high point. So again, this should be generally what our graph looks like generally what it looks like. It's just a sketch. It's not exact, but this is generally what that equation would look like if it were graphed. Let's look at example three. Example three, in this case, we're not given an equation. We just need to sketch. So we are told, sketch the graph of a polynomial function with the given characteristics. Odd function with zeros at negative two, one, four, and a positive leading coefficient. First thing we're going to do is we're going to plot those zeros. Those zeros are the x values. So if I go to negative 2, 1, and 4, so those are my zeros. We also know that we have a positive leading coefficient, which means we are ending up. And we know the function is odd. What does it mean if the function is odd? Our graph is going to start and end differently just like we wrote above. Even start and starts and ends the same. Think of twins. Odd start and ends differently. So now from here, it's up to us how we want to connect the rest of those points. So I'm going to go up and just see what happens. There we go. 
That's one possible graft. That is not the only option. I could have, from this point, gone up and bounced, maybe, and bounced again. That would have been another option. I think that one's a little bit more complicated, but it's another option as well. So anytime that you have an equation like this, or a, an example like this, where we're not given the equation, our sketches might look different. That's okay, as long as you've hit all of the requirements. Okay, if you can go to the next page, please, you're gonna try some on your own. Here are the examples that I would like you to try. Look back at the previous page if you need help. Give it your best shot though. Try these two examples and then turn the notes in. You will not get credit for these notes unless both of these problems are completed. Good luck. If you have any questions, remember you can always email me or come to office hours.